Good evening, I'm Hartford County Sheriff Jeff Gaylor. This week marked one month since Rachel Morin was killed while on the Mom Pa Trail here in Bel Air. We appreciate all your tips and today I want to bring you, our community, up to date on some of our investigative efforts, but I will continue to hold off on confirming the details of Rachel's death and information related to the crime scene. That said, what we have done is we have collected and watched hours of video footage from around the trail. This includes both videos recovered from homes, residences, and businesses in the Bel Air area. Our digital forensic unit has reviewed phones, texts, phone calls, and cell phone locations and data, and this effort continues. Working with our state and federal partners, we have and continue to utilize any and all technology available to further this investigation. We've worked with our local Hispanic nonprofits and businesses and local media who are attempting to help us identify the suspect in this case. Our detectives have traveled across the country and have logged countless hours on interviews. Deputies and investigators have canvassed areas related to Rachel and related to her death multiple times searching for additional witnesses and evidence. Investigators have reviewed the results of Rachel's autopsy. Our media team has created outreach videos and flyers in English and Spanish. And of course, the biggest break in the case came from DNA evidence collected from the crime scene. This evidence took investigators to Los Angeles where the matching DNA had been collected at the scene of an earlier home invasion and assault. This was the first time we got a glimpse of the man responsible for Rachel's death in the video and the photograph that we released of the suspect from the video. As to a couple of the questions related to the video that I will answer, no, we do not have a better picture at this time, and that includes uh, that we do not have a video of the suspect entering the home. And what about the arm in the video? I hear this question numerous times a day, and I can tell you we have identified the person connected to the infamous arm that appears in the surveillance footage from Los Angeles, and after speaking with that individual, we are confident that they played no role in the commission of any crime. I know there were many out there who were hopeful uh, when several claims to have identified the suspect were, and currently are, being circulated on TikTok. We have investigated those claims as well and have found them not to be relevant to the investigation into Rachel's murder. Last week, I told the news reporters that the suspect could be a serial killer. What do I mean? With all we do know about these two crimes, the one in Los Angeles and the one here, my concern is that this killer is escalating. My investigators and I both firmly believe that if we do not apprehend this individual, he will kill again if he has not done so already. And if given the chance, he certainly could become a serial killer. Until he is in custody, he poses, this suspect poses a threat to every community in our country and maybe outside. I have had many questions about how long we will continue to have deputies patrolling the trail. With the fall and cold weather fast approaching, we will certainly see a decreased use of the trail and we will adjust our patrols accordingly. But I can promise you that until we get the promised cameras covering the trail and the trailheads from the county, we will continue to monitor the Mom Pa Trail. One of the new questions being asked is, is this a cold case? Absolutely not, and far from it. We are still receiving the results of technological and scientific evidence and following up on new leads. There is still work to be done, and I have not given up hope. My investigators have not, have not given up hope that we will find the killer, and neither should you. So what can you do? Again, look at the video, share the video, and keep sharing. Someone out there knows who this suspect is. We need this photo in front of that person. Keep sending in your tips. Send them in to rmtips at harfordsheriff.org rmtips at harfordsheriff.org. I can promise you that every piece of information that comes in is seen and followed up by an investigator. There is a $10,000 reward being offered for information leading to the identification and arrest of this killer. Our investigators have logged nearly 600 tips so far from community members and some of those from as far away as Australia, England, and Canada. One thing is perfectly clear and that is that our community cares about Rachel and cares about bringing her killer to justice. Her story has captured the hearts of the world and we will continue to work every path 
available to us until we can bring peace to Rachel's family and peace of mind to our Harford County community.